G'day YouTube and welcome back to Step by Step Back to Basics. This is part two in our beginner's guide to 18650 batteries. Today we're going to have a closer look at the 18650 battery cell. So we can set our second basic rule. So you'll be able to build a really high quality and efficient uh, battery pack for your needs. So let's go ahead and have a closer look at these uh, 18650 battery cells. For us to be able to set our second basic rule, we just need to understand that there are differences in batteries, even though they're rated at the same. Both these batteries are rated at 2600 milliamp hours, um, but they do have different voltages, nominal voltages. One has a 3.6 and one has a 3.7. And the reason for that is when we tested this Samsung battery, it came out at 2,598 milliamp hours, which is right at the capacity rating. But this LG cell, when we tested it, came out at 2,899 milliamp hours, just under 2,900 milliamp hours. And the average of the discharge curve is how you get your nominal voltage. And because this battery has a higher capacity, it gets a lower nominal voltage. But we'll talk about more detail about that in a later video. But all you need to understand for the second basic rule is there are quite a few differences, even though they're very small, which will affect the operation of a battery. And for us to be able to make that as efficient as possible, we just need to do this by all the same cells for that particular battery. So plan ahead. If you need a hundred cells for a build, buy them all at the same time and buy all the same type of cell. That's why I buy all these LG cells because they're higher than their capacity and they're rated really, really well. And when I build a battery and I need 100 cells for that battery, I put 100 of these in there. There are some testing processes we have to go through, and we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video. But for right now, basic rule number two, plan ahead, but always put the same cell in the battery and never mix and match. Once again, thanks for watching Step by Step Back to Basics, and have a great day, YouTube. Please find a link below on a resource to find information on your particular battery cell. And remember, if you buy cheap, you will buy twice and always keep it simple whenever possible.